The focus when it comes to the market action this morning is very much on Chinese tech stocks uh, listed on Hong Kong. The sell-off pronounced. What is driving this? Yeah, uh, good morning, Tom. I think probably the most worrisome thing about this all is that there's no real clear catalyst for the down move today. Uh, we know that there's been plenty of doom and gloom hanging over China's markets for weeks and no sort of uh, firm uh, thing to turn it around. But today we saw another acceleration of the losses on the Hang Seng main gauge and on the tech gauge in particular. There are bits and bobs of bad news continuing to come through. We had the uh, bankruptcy declaration of Zhongzhou, which was a company that we've been expecting to in the private banking sector. Uh, we also had this rapid ratcheting up of trade tensions with Europe, uh, you know, adding to that sort of bad mood music. Uh, but no firm uh, single reason uh, why the tech in particular was sell off today, more just the kind of draining of confidence. Today we saw uh, mainland investors uh, taking money out of Hong Kong rather than putting it in as well. So that's another supportive factor that's not really firing at the moment, um, you know, and, 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 and so we were talking last week a little bit about how Hong Kong tech, uh, Hong Kong tech, Hong, Hong Kong stocks in general just look super cheap at the moment. But the problem is, even if they're cheap, you still need somebody to buy them. And there just isn't that uh, any sign of people coming back in and being willing to take a punt on it, even at these uh, much uh, reduced uh, valuation levels. Yeah, and those outflows, of course, from Hong Kong continue, to your point. Paul, when it comes to the jobs data, we talked about the fact that it's pretty mixed on Friday. Headline number was very strong, of course, wages up, but participation rate is down. Is there a, is there a final verdict from the markets when it comes to that jobs data stateside? Yeah, so I think, I think to wrap that up, you know, on the headline basis, the jobs data looked strong. It was a beat. On the average hourly earnings, it was a beat as well. But when you dug into the details, and thanks to Bloomberg Economics for their analysis on this, uh, things looked uh, a lot more kind of uh, troublesome. Our, our, our economists pointed in particular to factors from the survey, like the amount of time people were out of work, the amount of uh, people forced to take part-time jobs for economic reasons. Uh, factors like that that so, uh, give a sort of more troublesome or worrying perspective on things. Um, and what you had in a in addition to that, um, is a follow-up on the ISM services number, which of course was a big miss, uh, very disappointing, and so that got people's worries mm. up more, and that's led to that Fed pricing being much more certain in terms of the the, the March 70% uh, sort of uh, uh, probability okay. figure. Paul, very briefly, last week, a healthy correction or signs of things to come? Uh, really, that's the big question. We came into this year uh, really with the market sort of in overdrive, fully priced. Uh, uh, and we, since then, we've seen a bit of a turnaround. We've seen people reversing their uh, long bets on the market um, and flipping again. So uh, all to play for now with maybe a cleaner slate as we start this year.